on Disney fans and I've got some um, absolutely amazing news now if you guys have been watching my channel for a while now you guys will know that I have done a video on all of the live action Disney movies coming out in the near future and down the road there's a bunch of them so if you guys are not familiar with all of them coming out I recommend checking out this video I'll leave a link or something like that in the description or at the end slate uh, check that out but one of those movies that I was most excited for getting a live action remake is Aladdin. Now I've been a huge, huge fan of Aladdin since I first saw it when I was a young kid. One of my favorite Disney movies. I love the songs, I love the characters, and of course you have Robin Williams as Genie, one of the best Disney characters. It's just such a great character. His voice acting was top-notch. Probably one of the best characters in any movie ever voice acted ever in my opinion. And everyone's been wondering with this live action movie who will be cast as the genie who will be aladdin who will get these parts there's been speculation and rumors well we can finally put them to rest because this past weekend at d23 which is disney's um yearly a major event they do in anaheim convention center they do a bunch of announcements and things like that they made a bunch of cool announcements and one of them was they announced the leading cast for the live action aladdin movie and that was amazing we got to see who was gonna be aladdin who's going to be Jasmine, and who's going to be the genie. Starting out with Aladdin, this relatively unknown, newer, younger actor named Menna Masoud. Masoud, I'm probably pronouncing that name completely wrong. Uh, I've never heard of this guy before, but apparently he is a really good actor. Uh, he was actually born in Egypt, and I believe he was raised in Canada. So that's pretty interesting life there. Uh, like I said, he's a relatively unknown, smaller actor. He's only done a handful of roles in short films and a few TV series here and there. Um, things that I've personally never heard of. So again, he's not, a, he's not an A-list celebrity or anything just yet, but he is an up-and-coming star. And um, he looks like a good-looking guy. He looks like he could fit the role pretty well. And hopefully he can do a great job. I have faith in him. If Disney chose him, then I have a good hunch that there's a reason why they chose him. Uh, a thing that he did that I've actually heard his voice before, when I heard it, I heard listening to an interview, I'm like, I've heard that voice before. I looked it up. He actually did some voice acting work in Watch Dogs 2, the recent video game that came out. And I played that, so I was like, I've heard this voice before. That's where I know it from. He said he was in Watch Dogs. He did a bunch of voices in Watch Dogs 2. But anyway... That is going to be who is playing Aladdin, so that's pretty awesome. Next up is the English actor, actress, and songwriter, singer, Naomi Scott will be playing Jasmine. And this is a pretty good fit. She looks the part. She's very, very pretty uh, and a very, very good singer on top of that, which is really, really important because Jasmine has some amazing songs in the movie. And if we're going to really do them... Uh, and do them well, but then you needed someone with great vocals, and she fits that perfectly. She looks the part, she sounds the part. Very, very good pick here. I really enjoyed this pick for Jasmine. Now, recently, you may remember her, she was the Pink Ranger in the 2017 Power Rangers movie. Uh, I personally didn't see that movie, so I can't tell you how good her acting was in that, but I didn't hear anything bad about it. I've heard mixed reviews of the movie, so I would have to say she did an alright job. Uh, in that uh, and also she was mo in the disney channel original movie lemonade mouth which again i have never seen so uh maybe i'll look those look those roles up and check out um how she how good of an actress she actually is but i've only heard good things i've listened to a few of her singles she has a, a, some very popular singles from a few years ago uh, that she released on her album and, and stuff like that that i listened to and you could just tell that her voice was something special so, I, and again, um, another very, very good fit for the character. I love the aesthetics of it. I love her voice. And so far, I'm really enjoying their picks. And, of course, moving on to the next and final character that they announced, the most important, in my opinion, is the genie. Because, like I said, the genie, being that Robin Williams passed away, uh, very sad. I would have killed to see Robin Williams do this live-action movie. It would have been the best thing probably ever put on film and for Disney in my opinion because that was one of the best characters and his Robin Williams charisma and his voice acting and his real acting it's just something that you, you don't see every day he was he was a a one percent talent a generational talent uh and he could just command a, a, you know a, a movie screen and do things that other actors just can't do and I, it's sad that we'll never get to see them him do this but they did announce that Will Smith will be taking his place. Now, if you take a look at Will Smith's resume, of course, he is an A-list celebrity. He's been an A-list celebrity for quite some time. He's done 
countless movies. Uh, Men in Black comes to mind. Of course, you have his TV series of, of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, obviously. So he's a funny guy. He can dance. He can sing. Of course, he's also known for his musical career, getting jiggy with it and all the other singles that he released back in the day. So you got to have a very funny guy, a good dancer, a good singer. All those things are important. And of course, uh, on top of that, you've seen him in other animated films. Uh, I know that this isn't a voice acting role or anything, but he was. He did voice act in Shark Tales back in 2004. So we know he's, he's got some kind of talent for that as well, if that comes and plays a role in it. I doubt it will, because like I said, this is live action. But, uh, so, do I think Will Smith is a, is a good pick? Um, I think it's about as good as you can get. Like I said, Robin Williams is here, and everyone else is down here. So if you get someone down here that's at the top of the bottom down here, then that's about as good as it's going to get. It'll never be Robin Williams. It's not going to be what you expect. But I do expect Will Smith to do a, a really good job. I do. I, I, I think I'll enjoy what he does, what he brings to the table. Like I said, I've always personally liked Will Smith. I, I like his acting, his his uh, songs have always been catchy, and he's always just been a really funny stand-up guy. So I think that he'll do a great job, but you know, I just don't think it'll live up to what it could have been, sadly. But this is the best we can do with what we have. So we'll have to just kind of roll with it. Now, as of now, there is no release date for this movie just yet. That would have to probably be, my best guess would probably be 2019, 2020 at some time. Uh, the Lion King live action and Mulan live action movies are slated to come out before this. So there are a couple movies that are already in production uh, in front of this one in the live action series. So uh, it could be a little, could be a little bit, could be two, three years before we see this. But either way, it is happening. I'm very, very excited. Uh, so far, we've not seen anything. Like I said, at D23, they did release a small snippet of Lion King live action footage. Apparently, it blew the audience away. I have not seen it. I cannot find it on the internet if it is on the internet. Um, but from what I've heard, people that were there, people that talked about it on Twitter, said it was absolutely breathtaking. So if you can look forward to that, um, I'm looking forward to all these live action Disney movies. I'm a huge Disney fanatic, and I love, love, love so far what they've done with the live action, with the Jungle Book, and the other ones that they've done. Uh, have been absolutely amazing. So I love what they're doing. I love the direction they're taking this. And um, so far, I'm very excited for this one as well. Like I said, Aladdin was one of my favorite Disney movies growing up, right there with The Lion King. So uh, those two coming to live action is very, very exciting for me personally. And so far, the choices that they've made for the characters that I love in Aladdin have been very, very good. So I'm very, very happy with what Disney's chosen to do here. I'm very happy with the characters and the way they've gone about choosing them and their abilities to act and sing. So cannot wait to see this. Cannot wait to see a little more information on this. All that's got me very excited. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think Will Smith will be a good genie? Do you guys think that Naomi Scott will do a good job as Jasmine? And do you guys think that Mena Masood will do a good Aladdin? I would love to hear Love to hear all of your guys' opinions on this down in the comments. Love to do that. Get a conversation going with you guys. All that kind of fun stuff. Also, let me know what you guys are excited for coming up in the Disney lineup of movies. Which live action one are you guys excited to see the most? Personally, Lion King and Aladdin are on top of my list. Mulan is also a good one. And they've announced a few more. Uh, if you guys want to see the full list of ones they've announced, check out the video in the description. But remember, guys, it's always came back time somewhere. Until then, guys, take it easy and peace. Out. Winner is Ben and John.